Yo, what's happening, my people? So, back with another one. This is Walking Dead. This is season 10, episode 22, I think. Uh, this is the bonus episodes. Man, man, hold up. This right here is Here's Negan. If you have ever read the comic books, if you have read, read the comic books or something, there was this spinoff. It was called Here's Negan. And it was the story of Negan, his origin and stuff. It wasn't like in Walking Dead comic books, etc. It was, uh, why, why I say etc all the time? It was, uh, it was some weekly magazine, a monthly magazine that came out. And it was like a story in the back of the magazine. And every month it had like maybe five pages, six pages or something with the Here's Negan storyline until it was wrapped up. But it was just telling his origin story. And it, I think they ended up turning it into a full book. Uh, it was amazing. And to see this played out on the screen, it was like, oh my God. This is one of the greatest episodes of Walking Dead, period. If you are familiar with that storyline, if you are a fan of that, if you like Negan, I hated Negan like everybody else, but I had started to like Negan, and I'm so intrigued by his storyline, especially since everybody else is pretty much gone, all my favorite characters, but he has turned into one of my favorite characters. They switched it up differently than the comic book, but it has a lot of the elements. So, the beginning of the episode, we see there's still tension between him and Maggie and stuff. They're trying to get him out of the area. They're like, uh, they're like Negan. Let me try. I see a lot of sunlight on my camera. It might <laughs> see if that if that'll work. Cause uh, man, that sunlight if it, if the camera gets too hot, it will turn off. But uh, yeah. So there is tension between Maggie and Negan, and so Carol always trying to fix something herself, and she she's like the council. Then she gets Negan out, and he's like, well, thank you for getting me out and getting stretched my legs and get away from the tension for a second. She has a cabin laid out for him, and she's like, oh, oh you're going to stay here. We have banished you. In the comic books, they banished Negan. After he helped with Alpha and stuff, they just banished him, and he never came back. This right here is not the same. So they banished him, and he like, uh, so did the council banish me, or... Is this just one you taking it upon yourself? And she kind of like smirks. It is her trying to be a fixer like she always does. Always putting her nose in people's business and shit. Usually I'm not mad about it, but I'm mad because it's Negan. Negan is my dog. Uh, so we get to, to him having flashbacks, seeing things that he was going through. Like he is Negan for a reason. He had, everybody has a, a origin in the Walking Dead is about psychiatry, psych psychological makeup and stuff. How the this will affect a human being. Will you gravitate to your dark side? What did you have to do to survive? Like everybody's not a bad guy because you think is a bad guy. If we if we just follow the governor from the beginning and then you seen Rick's group, you might think they were the bad guys or something. There were a lot of elements of times when Rick and them did stuff and they could have been bad guys because they were surviving. But that was the group we've been rooting for from the beginning. So we always thought of them as good, but they didn't always do good things. But that's just a little little tidbit, that a little uh, theory about Walking Dead. Uh, so, man, we see, we see his wife. She has cancer and stuff. He's trying to keep her alive. He is, is taking off taking off to try to get medicine and stuff but they have they have flashbacks like to 11 years ago uh six months before that uh eight months have passed so they're jumping around but just giving us little glimpses of why nigga was the way he was like at the beginning he was a high school coach he was uh a womanizer he was a, a douchebag of a man uh, he was cheating on his wife, doing all this and that. We see him taking care of his wife. And he was the ideal husband. He was caring, uh, sympathetic, sensitive, 
doing everything that he could. But it was a reason. Uh, he felt bad. when he Once he found out she had cancer, he changed for the better. Like he dropped aside pieces and stuff. He started doing better. But then the world fell apart. We also see him like uh, during the diagnosis, she was like, uh, I need you to come and drive me back and stuff. And he was like, I, I, I can't. I have my probation, uh, this and that. Really, he was cheating. But then we also see other moments. Like, like uh, just stay with me. The generator has went off and stuff. Just stay with me. And, uh, and, but he was a coward. It was like, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm going to get your medicine and we're going to keep you alive and this and that. Really, he was he he couldn't bear the thought of just watching her die like that. So he thinking he doing the right thing, going to get her medicine, but really he was running away, and she ended up passing in that time. But that's jumping ahead. But we see a lot of things, man. Like he he went with intentions to get a medicine. They he ran up on some certain people, and those people uh extended him kindness. Those people were kind to him when he was negative. And they gave him all the medicine and stuff that he needed at the time. Then he ended up getting caught up by this biker gang. He sells these people out. He's like, uh, here's all the information you need and this and that. So he goes back home. Uh, she ends up, she she died. She, she was dead by the time he got, got back there. And they had given, they had given him a weapon. They had given him a bat whenever he had left the people. That is Lucille. So his wife name is Lucille, but uh, he named the bat Lucille after his wife. But he end up uh, wrapping the bat with uh, with barbed wire and all this and that. He came back towards those people, the people that did him wrong, that made him sell out those people. He had this fury in him before everything went to shit. There was a moment uh, they had a man in a bar, and he didn't react with Negan in kind, in a kind manner. Uh, he he was playing his, his wife a song, and dude was being abrasive and being an asshole. So Negan blacked out on him. He lost everything. He lost his job. His wife had to pay that man's hospital bills. Then she had her own bills came up, and they were in a bad way. He like... Back in the days, in those times, I was a bad man. Now there isn't any, any scorecard now. Like, what's a bad man now? Like, if if I see red now, what you gonna do? You gonna sue me? You can't do me nothing. So now he was able to be himself. And we see that is how Negan end up coming into his own and in, in this world and then at the end of the episode we see him going back to the camp he he let his nuts drop well before that he went back and he dug up he dug up Lucille uh, she was still in the field where Rick had cut his throat and stuff he dug her up and he gave her a proper burial or whatever he, he burnt her but he's like I apologize and I'm 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 ashamed that I named a bat after you in this net and he finally comes to terms with, with him and his wife. But then his nuts drop. And he's been docile this whole time and letting people boss him around and be in a hole and stuff. And he like, he wakes up again. And he's not gonna go back to the old Negan, I think. But he's like, Maggie, we had our time and I feel bad about what I did. But you're not about to dictate my life anymore. Like, I'm gonna live my life. If you try to kill me, so be it. Whoever comes out on top is gonna come out on top. That's how it's gonna be with this last season of Walking Dead. So we see we see Maggie and she's mug, me mugging him and stuff. He's kind of smirking at her. I'm actually rooting for Negan. If if Maggie thinks she's gonna go from show to show to show and come back and take over the Walking Dead, whenever I fell in love with Negan's character, pause. Kill Maggie. Kill Maggie. That's how I feel. A hey, we love Maggie and Glenn and all this, but hey, you been gone. You lost all that pool. Nigga, do what you gotta do. This is one of the best episodes of Walking Dead I have seen 
in a long, long time. I shed tears. I laughed. I was intrigued. It had all the elements of good cinema. That's my thoughts, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest and the most hated man. Holla at your boy. Peace.